All right, guys, we are back. It's been a while, and I apologize. I've been busy, and I'm still doing guns, still doing rifles, but just haven't been making a lot of videos. I am doing a response to Backfire's video. Jim from Backfire recently had a guy on the channel called Mike the Marine who thought he could hit one gallon milk jugs and he thought he could hit a hundred out of a hundred or that's the way it started and it ended up I think he hit 17 out of 54 shots so I thought I'd try to recreate that a little bit and see how difficult it actually is to do but I thought instead of shooting a lot I'm just gonna set 10 jugs at max range which is for them it was 600 it just happens to be that these jugs are sitting at 620 yards for me it is pretty breezy today it's pretty windy which makes this like way more difficult the hard part about long range is your left and right and being consistent so i honestly don't expect to hit every one of these um, the guns that i'm putting together are capable of shooting every one of these in perfect condition and and with the shooter doping the wind perfectly so the wind's picking up right now we have these jugs at 620 yards i'm going to say we're probably going to have to hold about a minute left right now to start and uh, let's see if we can pick these things off all right we're starting on the jug on the left i'm going to hold about one minute left for wind on this first shot All right, that wind's picking up now. Probably gonna have to hold a little bit more wind on this shot. Not a bad start, three for three in this wind. I'm holding a full minute there. On the first two shots, the first two shots I held about a three quarter minute for wind. This wind is about a, a half value wind. It's quartering this way, but it's probably at least 10 mile an hour, maybe more, with gusts probably 12 plus. The first two shots I held about a three quarter left, which is about a, almost a jug width left and the last shot I held a full minute of wind. That's three for three. Um, a couple, I'm gonna let this barrel, this barrel cool down just a little bit. A couple things that were red flags for me as soon as Mike showed up, you know, and hats off to him for showing up and doing or being willing to take on the challenge in front of all the, all the viewers, but a couple things that were red flags to me that um, automatically question whether it's going to be done or not. The first thing is he was shooting a 300 wind mag with no muzzle brake. And if if your goal is to break or to bust 100 jugs or as many jugs as you can, 
a 300 Win Mag is not the best caliber you're going to pick just because it's a high recoiling round which makes it more unforgiving to shoot. The second thing, which is also why he got scoped on that second shot, is it, it shows you how much recoil that rifle had. The second thing is he did not use anything on a rear rest. He had, he was shooting like this, something like this, which I'm sure he probably trained for and all that. But without a rear rest, and especially with a round that recoils that much, you're going to have a decent amount of inconsistencies that happen on the back end if you're not setting on something that's consistent and that has the same recoil every single time. Here I'm resting off of my bottle rest. Some of you guys probably seen that. It's a bottle, holds 28 ounces of water, and doubles as a rear rest. So that's what we're using today. All right, let's do it again. As I'm just pulling the trigger, I literally feel the wind hitting me from this, from this way. It's really kind of swirling. I'm not sure if there's much wind on this shot at all. It's starting to rain a little bit. But I was paying attention to that as I'm squeezing the trigger. That shot I literally just held left edge of the jug. There is five jugs in a row at 620 yards, and I did not mention the caliber of rifle what I'm shooting here. This is not my rifle. This is a customer's rifle that I just set up yesterday. I was going to do this challenge yesterday, and it didn't work out. Ended up my, my camera wasn't working. And I am actually videoing through, I'm videoing these jugs through my binoculars and a phone scope at the moment, so if the video clarity isn't the best I apologize and <clears throat> but this is a rifle I just set up for a customer this is a 28 nozzler shooting a 175 grain bullet and again if I was just trying to come out here and blow as many jugs as I could um, I would probably be shooting something like a 6.5 PRC maybe with a 147 ELDM or something like that something that has lower recoil so this is a Western rifle this guy wants do western hunting it just happened to it just happened to be the rifle that i was working on at the moment and uh it's shooting fine Alright, that was the first one that got away. I'm going to see where I missed it at. Alright, I just looked at my video footage and it appears like I shot 
right over the cap of the jug. So my windage was good, just shot straight high. All right, now we're gonna skip that one. So I just looked at the footage of that miss and I was just off the right edge of the jug, probably over the shoulder of the jug. So just missed that one as well. So we went, we hit five in a row, then we missed two, now we have three left. Alright, so that one was a miss as well, and that was hit the exact same place I think as the last one. So I'm getting pushed a little bit more right than what I'm holding for. The height is pretty good. I think I'd be in the jug as far as the height goes. Um, I'm just getting pushed a little bit, so I need to get back to holding a little bit more wind like I did in the, the, first, the first handful. I don't feel like I'm feeling as much wind here, but we still might have some wind down there. So I just was not holding as much. I was holding the left edge of the jug and missing off the right edge um, off of those last two shots. All right, I'm going to give this barrel a few minutes and then we'll, we have, not even sure, one or two shots left. We still have, we have two shots left. Now a note with this is I think, you know, without getting too detailed, as far as kill shots on, say, a deer, I think every one of those shots would have been a kill shot on a deer. The first miss was just high, so if I'd have been holding, you know, center long, I would have probably hit high shoulder on that shot. If I was in the second two being missed just a little bit to the right, um, a deer's vitals is about about two jugs wide, and so I just missed those jugs. And so, as far as being efficient, as far as killing, as far as confidence. Um, and what I'm comfortable shooting with these rifles, you know, 600 yards um, is a pretty comfortable shot. So I shot a doe here. I actually thought it was a doe. It ended up being a button buck, so it was a pretty small target at 730 yards. Shot it right through the heart down here on the left side of the field. Opening day. All right. It's a little bit chilly out, so this barrel's cooling off pretty quick. Let's finish it up. Alright, I'm looking at the footage on these misses as I'm missing them so it helps me correct for the next shot because I don't have a spotter with me. Um, but that, that all but hit the jug and I missed it on the left side, which is the first one. I held more wind and missed it right on the left side. Uh, anytime you're shooting long range, especially if you're shooting on big game, if you can have a spotter, that's huge because you can call that miss and you can follow up instantly if you have to. Alright, last one. last one was a hit so we shot six out of ten sixty percent on jugs and it's a pretty breezy day which 
your wind your wind is your handicap there's days that I'll go out in the mountains and I'll shoot a thousand yards on say an elk and feel very confident and then there's days that are windy and I'm like I won't shoot past six or seven hundred a day just because of the wind so your wind really is your handicap today isn't necessarily the best day to do this I think if I did this challenge on a completely wind still day um, I think we could go 10 for 10. I was trying to kind of hold the wind with what I'm feeling here and what I'm seeing. It's really overcast, so it's hard to see anything in the scope as far as Mirage goes. But 6 for 10, I'll take it. And my misses were, I think a lot of them were barely misses. So I think if, if we were shooting at a deer, I think every shot would have been a kill. So anyway... It's a fun little challenge. Um, if if you're in the market for a rifle, I'm still doing them. I'll put something like this together for you. It'll shoot like that. Until next time, I appreciate you. Appreciate the support I've gotten. I've got some business from the channel, and I appreciate that. Until next time, I uh, hope you can go out and find a little challenge for yourself and see how many shots you can hit whether this challenge this, this is a great this is a great challenge to really see where to really see where your handicap is you know set these jugs at two three four five hundred yards whatever you feel like is long range for you and see how many of them you can blow up and when you're out in the field it's going to give you something to look back on that you can be like hey i hit 10 jugs out of 10 at 400 yards i can take that deer and make that shot very comfortable Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.